If you were going to take a trip in Europe to see the vineyards of Europe, and you started where the cool weather uh, viticulture was, uh, the Alsace uh, region between France and Germany up north, uh, uh, Burgundy, uh, by the time you drove to Bordeaux and over to the Rhone and then down into Italy where they grow Zinfandel grapes, you'd probably travel about a thousand miles. And in this area, we truly can grow all of those varietals and do it well within about 40 miles. That's why we're lucky in the gorge, is because we can, a lot of people have different visions here, mm -hmm. but we have the different grapes up and down the gorge to accomplish that. Mm -hmm. For those of us in regions that don't uh, necessarily are known for Pinot Noir, uh, but for other varietals like we've been talking about, we need to, to take advantage of that. I always liken it to the, our marketing initiatives being kind of following the tip of the spear. The tip of the spear is definitely Pinot Noir in any marketplace we go, but uh, we can follow right behind and we don't have to, to say anything derogatory about Pinot Noir for God's sake. That's what brought us to the party. Uh, it's, it's all about, you know, now you've tasted Oregon Pinot Noir, now why don't, why don't you try an Oregon Syrah uh, or, a, 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 you know, Tempranillo.